So, Gita. Your name is Gita? Yes. How would you pronounce, pronounce it? Pronounce my name, Gita. Gita. Okay. And um, this morning you heard the stories about Lucia. Mm -hmm. And I asked you about a celebration of light mm -hmm. in India, which you call... Deepavali. Deepavali. Could you please tell us a little about this Deepa. celebration and the, and the meaning of it? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Deepa is light and uh, Deepavali is uh, a festival of lights. So there are many stories to this festival of lights. Yeah. Um, and the one very popular story is, which is actually the story for many festivals. Uh, you will always have one evil man and yeah. a good person. So okay. uh, there is a person called Narakasura. Asura means demon. Yeah. Narak is hell or dark. So the demon of darkness is called Narakasura. And he is uh, creating a lot of havoc all over in the world. And in India we believe that there are three worlds. And some of them believe there are seven worlds. So uh, one world which is uh, where the gods live and we have something called Trishanku, which is where the lesser gods live uh, with different portfolios and then the real world where we all live. So, this man is creating a lot of havoc in all the three worlds. And then we have three gods, Brahma, who is the creator, Vishnu, who is the protector, and Shiva, who is the destroyer. So, all the three gods are, uh, you know, now very scared that uh, this man is uh, uh, creating so much havoc everywhere. So, they go to Vishnu. Uh, the main god who is a protector and say you must do something about this. So they say that whenever a lot of prayers come together and when the evil starts getting worse, God always takes a form to defeat. But he would not do it in the beginning. He would do it only when everything is very, very chaotic and it has come to the last uh, destruction. Okay. So now he says, okay, I will, you know, create this, uh, kill this demon. And uh, he sends what we call also very symbolically as the wheel of life, which is a dynamic movement. So this Vishnu carries two things. One is the chakra, which is the rotating disc. And one is shank, which is for hollow and which uh, is for nothingness. So from nothing to the movement. So this is movement and this is nothing and God is in between. So our whole journey of life is to come from nothing to the dynamic movement and return to the nothingness. So that is the whole uh, idea of this symbol. So he always sends this to keep destroying because this is the dynamic movement. So he sends the chakra and uh, kills this demon Narakasura and when he kills there is always a celebration. Mm -hmm. So the celebration is that since he was the demon of darkness, so we will celebrate with the light. Mm -hmm. So lamps are lit and uh, firecrackers and the whole place is lit up uh, because this demon is been killed. That is one version. Another story which is very popular is um, in the Ramayana, which is a great epic, uh, two great epics, Ramayana and Mahabharata. And in the Ramayana, Rama is sent into the forest for 14 long years. And he comes back to take his throne after killing Ravana, who is another big devil with ten heads and uh, 20 hands. So after he is killed and he is returning to his kingdom, the people are very happy. So they celebrate it with lights. 
So in the north part of India, you will find these huge statues of Ravana, the, you know, with the ten heads. Mm -hmm. And they mm -hmm. would put uh, firecrackers inside and they will put one light and the whole thing will burst. And that's how they celebrate. Mm -hmm. So this is another uh, version of Diwali. But the underlying thing is that the evil is destroyed and the new light is uh, brought into people's lives. So what people also do that day is they get up very early in the morning and they take keep oil on the head and they take a, an oil bath, a good wash and everyone wears new clothes that day. They make sweets and some people even celebrate it as New Year yeah. in the Gujarat and other people. So they will give the sweet and wish New Year because yeah. it's a new dawn. Mm -hmm. You know, so this mm -hmm. is uh, same everywhere. New clothes, taking a morning bath and uh, uh, everyone celebrating together. Mm -hmm. So this uh, now in the modern era, the tradition continues uh, as even though the children are very far away in the US or abroad or in the West, on this particular day, they will all come back to their home to celebrate this festival. Okay. So that is still very significant, uh, very significant festival in India still. Yes. Uh, does it uh, have a personal meaning for... Yes. Uh, uh, in the ashrams or in, in, in very quiet places also, uh, there are people who uh, want to find themselves. Yeah. So I am uh, saying that I am not, if I have been depressed and if I am sad and if I am feeling lonely, all that, it's a darkness. Yeah. So it's a ri time for me to come out of this darkness and bring light you know, to feel positive. Yeah. So we also have a small sloka which says Asatoma Sat Gamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityorma Amritam Gamaya So, where, from please lead me from darkness to light from death to deathlessness you know, from yeah. so there is a continuity of life so lead me it's the same like lead kindly light you know okay. so this light which we say very uh, subtly is god lead me from darkness to light so jyotir is the light yeah. you said something to our pupils <clears throat> which i thought was very wise mm -hmm. uh, because in our schools pupils have one or three seconds to answer mm -hmm. from the moment uh, the teacher poses a question. So they really don't have time to think. Mm -hmm. But you said something about stay with the question. W w what did you mean by that? Um, Can you I, expand on that? Yeah, theme? I think... Uh, uh, what we see around us are uh, things which uh, a child looks and wants to know what it is because uh, we have to move from ignorance to knowledge. So whenever we are born, from the time we are born and we are living, we start accumulating the knowledge. You know, And in this knowledge accumulation, what happens is uh, there is a sense of wonder, you know, like a, a twinkle, twinkle little star, how I wonder what you are. Mm -hmm. So when he wondered, he said, oh, you're so high in the sky, you know. And he saw the diamond and he said, you're like a diamond in the sky, you know, because of the sense of wonder. So uh, there are many things we wonder about. And when we ask somebody a question and they answer suddenly, uh, it shuts us from wondering. You know, suppose I want to say, I'm very sad today. And another person comes and says, don't be sad. You know, don't be sad. Yeah. Just eat the ice cream and you'll be happy. 
but it's not true because there is sadness which is there which is a deep part of us us ourselves it's nice to stay with that question you know and not immediately shut with the answers maybe i can help i'll say oh you feeling sad yeah i know i can understand you know i think you will find your light soon i'm sure you will get out of this you know because i also feel the same way sometimes that would be a better answer than saying oh if you're feeling sad this is a pill this is a thing this will make it all right you know but i don't think everything is so instant uh like instant karma and the instant noodles <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so i think we are going away from the process of uh, of thinking of staying with something yeah. when we immediately shut with mm. the answer so we move we we close that chapter yeah can you see a connection between this uh staying with a question fostering wondering about things and uh, using uh, stories yes of course because i think <clears throat> unless you uh, you know start wondering you cannot create stories you cannot create something you know uh, for instance um, i was sitting uh, near the ganges which is a very holy river and uh, it was a yeah. quiet moment you know and i'm not doing a workshop i'm not thinking my mind is not chattering so i'm able to see you know and i saw this dew drop uh it, it was so beautiful and colorless yeah. and no no identity no color and i thought with within myself am i a storyteller or am i geeta or i am somebody's wife or who who am i or do i have identity so i created a story that this dew drop says i don't have an identity and i want a color so it goes to the sunflower and says can you give me your color and the sunflower says oh i always face the sun don't disturb me <laughs> and then the dew drop goes to the rose and the rose has thorns and pokes the dew drop na nah, don't come near me and then it goes towards the fading blue bell the blue bell says oh i'm a creeper and i fade so don't ask me and then it goes to the lotus on the and the lotus screams if you come near me you will dissolve in the water and so this dew drop it's night and it's tired and it's going and it gets a nice smell of the jasmine it's a white beautiful flower and the jasmine looks at the dew drop and says ah i can see the moon in you you are so beautiful and suddenly the the dew drop is so happy it says oh you can see the moon inside mm. me yes of course i can see the moon It says oh this is wonderful and i can become the sunflower if i want i can become the rose i can become anything but the rose cannot become the sunflower and the sunflower cannot become the moon and i can become whatever i want so why am i searching for my identity i'm happy the way i am <laughs> <laughs> beautiful story yes i thought i could think of this only because i wondered about this dew drop mm. you know when you start wondering you start creating yeah. and probably later on we can think about whether you have to tell this to the little children or you can tell it to the adults mm. or uh, does it have more meanings you know yeah because it can be appealing to anyone and it depends on how the people want to take it you said that um, the question who am i yes is important to you or even to indian Indians. culture it's 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 very important to indian culture yeah because we are always reminded of 
what you are doing and who you are you know yeah so we also give up a lot of things because of that you say for the family for the child for somebody we never live for oneself is is always that you live for somebody else and so it's very important to give than to get so giving is very very important giving not materially only but giving from our hearts so that we are taught to the children that when you give there is a sense of joy when you give there is a sense of happiness or the traditional forms or, or even ceremonies where this question is posed to the children yes it is because uh, the ultimate uh, end of all the ceremonies is to help you to go towards the path because i was very upset when my mother would say sit down and pray and 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 uh, uh, you know pray to the elder in the family and come to the temple yeah. and and chant this and ah, i was very upset but today i am thinking that it has helped me to to ask deeper questions to bear to tolerate uh to give you know okay so ceremonies can be used for for living with the questions like yes, this very true because it's not important whether the story is true or false no and it's not important whether there was a demon who existed or not the ultimate question is what is that within you that you are going to solve how i manage my life how i am going to be no not a burden to anybody but to be able to live a fruitful life so every now and then we are coming back to what is the purpose of your life what is the actual purpose not just making money and earning and doing all this but there is a something beyond that always is reminded like uh, two railway tracks it runs parallelly you know so you will find lot of indians in after 45 50 they are very happy to be going to uh, temples and uh, pilgrimage and uh, ashrams you know uh, you you take that life we call it vanaprastham which is the forest life so after 50 every human being has to detach that path is there okay yes. so i am over 50 so <laughs> I, i should really be out in the forest <laughs> no when we mean forest it's not actual forest <laughs> but to start giving more yeah and to 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 st- stop only thinking of the self and and to also get away from a lot of things like sex and lust and 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 a lot of habits to break and find more meaning for your life will i do i have time for a last question uh, what was the time is it yeah there you can for the show um in um in sweden educators has recently discovered the dilemma tales african mm-hmm. dilemma tales okay which uh, ends with a, a, a question and you have have to choose from 2 3 4 5 answers and you and you discuss them uh, but to us it's rather foreign to uh, work with questions mm Uh, but are the traditional forms in indian storytelling where questions or questioning is connected with, with the story yeah and it's a very important form um we have very famous stories for children called uh, vikram or baital 
and Vikram is a, a king, Vikramaditya, and Betal is a ghost, you know. And every time this king wants to rule the kingdom well, so he is always thinking what is the right way to rule the people. And the ghost comes and tells him a story and tells him through the story hmm. with a question in the end. So when he starts thinking of the question, the ghost disappears. He says, I will come back next week, but be ready with the answer, be ready with the answer. And so all the questions and all the answers, it's only through question answers. And they say that King Vikramaditya was like King Solomon, that he was a very wise king. And so that Vikramaditya's throne is supposed to be the throne of like the hot seat the throne for questioning. Oh, yeah. So you see, the entire thing in India actually, the best stories are which has the question and answer. Thank you yes, very sir. much. <laughs> we have only <laughs> heard a little drop of an ocean <laughs> of stories yeah. and, and, and uh, wisdom from <laughs> India. Okay, thanks so much. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you very much. Good period, I'll use for a good on that for 